Yeah, that's understandable too. Movies aren't for everyone. You also, it's hard, like, you gotta find the movies that you are interested in, too. It's just because, like, a lot of people like the movie doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna like it yourself. Like, I don't like Avatar, but obviously, that is a very different opinion from a lot of people considering it made the most money of any movie. But I fell asleep in the theater after that movie, and I'm just bored. Now, granted, I do fall asleep to almost every movie I watch, but that was a different thing. Like, usually I nod off without noticing, but I knew I was bored during during Avatar. I have an issue with falling asleep during movies. Whether I'm enjoying the movie or not, I fall asleep. <laughs> I have no control over that. The blue people one he's yet. Well yeah, if you just for inflation gone with the wind did, but... Outside of that, it's still Avatar. No, no, we, we don't talk about that movie, each yet. <laughs> See, I don't like 3D. I think the, uh, the premises behind 3D has a lot of interesting things that they could do with it, but they don't. 3D, a lot of the cases, and for like 99% of the movies, is literally just having the screen slightly closer to your face. Um, it's unappealing. It's not interesting. I'd rather just watch the movie without having to put something over my eyes in order to be able to watch the movie. I have so many issues with 3D. But it had good intentions. Like, they could have done so well with it because there was a lot of things that could have been done. They just didn't. They didn't try. No, they're still trying to push 3D, just less now. See, I would disagree there. I feel like it didn't add anything to it. The only movie that I would say had anything interesting in terms of 3D was Spy Kids 3D Game Over because they actually tried to use the effects of 3D where something can kind of like go towards you more rather than just having the, the movie itself closer to you. Like they at least attempted something in that style. See, I have, I have issues with VR too. VR is completely overrated right now as well, because it's not actually VR. VR, you think something styled like The Matrix, or the, um, that video game thing in The Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, 
I mean, it's already currently too expensive for a lot of people to want to have it anyway. The same could be said about the PS3 when it first came out. PS3 was way too much when it first came out. motion controls for PS3 was because the Wii was selling so freaking well they had to try and do something about it. <laughs> that was their answer to the Wii selling so well. <laughs> was almost a complete imitation of the Wii remote. <laughs> on in any sense. The issue with Connect was it had a good, like, a good basis. It did. Like, had they kept up with things and actually made things more interesting with it, it could have been a decent gimmick overall. The thing is, is they didn't. And no one cared, either. <laughs> it just did terrible. not anything interesting out for the Kinect. It was a bunch of just kind of like boring like random family game style things. It didn't really have any interesting like anything interesting with it. Or Just Dance I guess was the biggest thing for, for Kinect. Yeah, I don't know why they tried to integrate it so much into the into the Xbox One at first. Like you could basically only buy it with the Kinect, and then people complained about that. Like it made it so much more expensive. They just they they bet so much on the Kinect being better. Or like doing better anyway. bad. <laughs> Just like how they kind of, they, they bet a lot on that whole uh, DRM thing. And that basically made the PS4 like demolish it in terms of sales because of that initial thing. Like the two separate announcements for each of the consoles at that E3. Like, doomed the Xbox One to begin with. Sure, people weren't really using it, but they were trying to integrate it more in a sense of 
being more of a home entertainment system rather than just a console. Which is what the Kinect was being used for. It was more for that point of it. But people didn't care to have that for it. They only wanted the Xbox for the games. Not for the home entertainment system portion. Oh gosh, sprinkles in. I mean, to be fair, Xbox and PlayStation are more so... There, there's less exclusives in general on them, comparatively to, like, Nintendo, for instance. Like, Nintendo's all about their exclusive, like, first-party games. Whereas, Xbox and PlayStation have always kind of had similar games between each other, as a whole. Hey Ratchet, thanks for the luck. Or like you have the fact that like PC has most of... Oh hey there Aura. Um, how PC has pretty much all of the... The titles between Xbox One and PS and PS4, at least the big like the bigger titles. That's not okay. This is terrible. Holy heck, that was awful. Yeah, I PB, Dora. I don't, I don't know what I can do here. I'm gonna have to play the other part safe, I guess. I just mean the bigger titles in general time, or eventually it will. If it doesn't currently. I'm using so much time to this series. This is disgusting. I mean, at this point, Microsoft has realized that their console is not doing so great and they're trying to. to get the cosplay stuff going so the people at least buy stuff in that sense. Consoles are also reaching that price point as well of like new released consoles of basically being a miniature PC. Like if they keep that up, it's just gonna be better to buy a PC anyway and just release their game and just have the game on PC. You can only do so much with this console. I think it'll still be a few generations of consoles before that happens, but they are getting there. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of time here. That was a really bad sir.
ティの保護を離れます。Yeah, exactly, Super Saiyan. I just decided to punch. Alright, if these next two splits go well, we'll be ahead. Again, that's why I'm saying it's gonna it'd be something later down in the road. Not quite now. Should have been Xbox 720. The naming was a little silly on their part to have Xbox One. Like, I understand they wanted to go for, like, the one as in, like, all-in-one kind of thing, but they, they should have gone with a different Wii scheme. In the same way as Nintendo shouldn't have the Wii, the Wii U, the Wii U, because that confused the crap out of so many people. People just thought the Wii U was an extension of the Wii. Like you were just buying the tablet because of how they marketed it. They marketed it as showing mostly just the tablet aspect of it rather than showing that it was a separate console. Yeah, the S and the one at This makes sense from the standpoint of it's kind of something similar to what PlayStation and Microsoft have been doing with releasing the mini versions. The X was just them trying to capitalize on the whole 4K thing, even though that didn't go very well, I feel like, <laughs> for them. A Wii U honestly just looks like a fancier Wii. Like, with rounded edges and stuff, yeah, a little fatter. Like, they do look relatively similar. strat to make them better, or are. I'm the only one that currently does them in runs. They were inconsistent back then. I made them better. I'm like the founder of the new strat for it to make it better. Oh god. That was almost bad.
Yeah, the Switch is what they attempted to do with the Wii U, but they just didn't have the, the ability to really do so at the time. They didn't have the technology quite yet. Hey, Tablade, thank you. The Switch is a really, really good console. It's super, super nice. I don't use it much myself, but that's just because obviously I, I spend most of my time playing old games. Yeah, no, it's it's a really good, it's a good system, it's a good concept for it, like, you, you can just kind of bring it with you if you need to, you don't need to leave it home. Like, if you need something to do elsewhere. Well, that's because the Wii U didn't have a very long lifespan. It had Breath of the Wild, it had like the, the switch with it. They released together. I thought it was fine, but it just had so much issues with like press and understanding of it and whatnot that it just didn't sell well because of it. Like it's a perfectly fine console. They just marketed it terribly. Uh, they release it on two systems now because it usually releases on the back end of one system lifespan. So they want to make sure that those people can still have access to it. And hey there, Gilbert. Thanks for the bits. Excited for your concert? Nice. I hope it's a good concert. Hope you enjoy it. And hey there, Dane's B. For the host plywood, I appreciate it. Welcome everyone from Plywood Stream. Jack too. All right, Sage, have a good sleep. Thanks for the good luck, Plywood. I hope your stream went well. I broke it in there. It's because of that jump. I mean that. I tried to not mess up the jump up the stair part, but that part can get really obnoxious going into the Alright, so my PB had a bad time getting to the hut. That's the first major time save against these splits inside of race. Yeah, no, the, the Wii U sold terribly. It did. I think it was like 10 million sold total or something like that. Maybe, maybe a bit more than that. Near the morning at the end. I have one.
Yeah, pretty sure that's true. The the Switch has been selling really, really well, like comparatively to the PS4 start. Switch is doing super well. Yeah, I'm, ho I'm hoping Metroid Prime 4 is going to be good. I'm excited for that. Mars. I mean, Nintendo always tries to do something very different with each console too. Like, Nintendo's always been very innovative in that sense. The other console makers usually sit by there. They're like normal. Same old, same old console with a little bit different, like, in terms of, like, what it can output. Nintendo's always tried to push, like, different concepts with it. Whether or not those concepts have been good or bad is a different story in a lot of cases, but they've always tried to kind of push something different. Are oh, you talking about, like, the... their game series? Okay, I see. With with Metroid, I'm hoping they fix what happened with other M. Uh, play FF10 Ruby. But I mean, it also depends on what they're going for too. Super excited! Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, because I don't like Breath of the Wild that much in comparison to other Zelda games. I don't like the approach that they took with that. So to me, that's them taking a step back, but I know a lot of people liked Breath of the Wild. I just didn't like how they added a bunch of random survival aspects to it. I don't like those kind of things in games. Or Mario Odyssey, I feel like it took a step back too. Because they tried the open world kind of thing. Oh my god! <laughs> what? They just knocked me down. <laughs> Rip those two. <laughs> Twilight Princess perfectly fine. I think my, my, my favorite Zelda is still Wind Waker. And will probably always be Wind Waker. I need to watch Samus' health. Shoot a peacemaker shot. Hey, 
Yeah, all the PC versions are perfectly fine for Final Fantasy. So is the lack of a flung dungeons. For me, the issue is just the, the general survival aspects. They tried to make it more like one of like more of a Western styled game, which I don't have any interest in. That's not what I want in a game. If I want that in a game, I'll go play RuneScape. Like, I don't want that in that style of game. For Zelda, it's not what I want. It takes away from it for me. See, it's just in general though, just it being there is what I have issues with. I really like the whole system with just needing hearts for health and stuff. I don't like the fact that you need to like cook the food and whatnot and chop the trees is all nice and slow to get the wood and whatnot. Like, that's not what I'm looking for in that style of a game. Again, if I want if I want to do that, I'll go play RuneScape because I expect it out of that. I don't expect it out of the style of game that Zelda has been. It's exactly. It gives you things, so it gives you the like the reasoning to want to do it. Or to need to do those kind of things in the game. In some form. That's because that's, that's how every Zelda game is long. People crap on it when it first comes out and then they love it later. <laughs> That's kind of been a thing. And hey there, Hydra. Like, people hated on Skyward Sword, and then all of a sudden loved it. Same thing with Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. They've all kind of run through that same thing. Oh, well, Hydra. Why are you tired? Whereas, like, I've just always loved Wind Waker. I love the style of it. Alright, Hydra. Other issues I have with the Duckles is the thing that they've brought through with more of the recent games, which was starting from Twilight Princess, I think. The whole, you can't run forever thing. It's like slowly adding more realism into what should be just an outright fan fantasy game. But no, I'm pretty sure it was Twilight Princess that added it, wasn't it? Then, okay, then it was... it was Skyward Sword. Like, I don't like that that has been added into it. Granted, in Breath of the Wild, you can abuse it to make it so that it doesn't really matter, but that's abusing mechanics for it and not like something you would really find in a casual playthrough of the game. Unless you happen to notice that that happened, I guess. Yeah, Skyward Sword has it. See, I don't care for the difficulty. I just want the enjoyment from it.
and like the exploratory aspect of it and whatnot. Watch my health. <laughs> Usually it's the water dungeon that gets people. Just in general, like that's where the, the main difficulty in the city is in the water dungeon. Gilbert, you have a good sleep. Yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting. <laughs> Let's see what all happens. Still have a ways to go. See, Skyward Sword, I really like just outside of stamina. Oh gosh, Yoshi. We still save three. Now this gold, on the other hand, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, he did a little, just doing a little dance for everyone, right? That's all. Conkles. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not, Lua. 
funny if people do. It just depends on the kind of games that, like, blue, like, excel at kind of thing. Some people are, more, are good at more puzzle aspects of Zelda. Compared to others. Kirby Adventures. Gosh. Pretty easy, Lordy. See, you fail it, and you're gonna die. So there is that, but thanks for the boost. That shot, though. Losing time here. Yeah. the hover. Is FF8 good? Yeah, it's really good. I enjoy it. They're all good. Some are... Like, they're all different from each other as well. Okay, that was scary. Yeah, I lost a decent chunk of time there. Okay.
Okay.
Friends over. No! Oh, that was so good, too! Ugh. I ended up in the elevator. We practiced, too. That's hot. Yeah, I was ahead of Siki still. That's a big time loss. I think I can still PB, but that's a big, big time loss, the feeling that. That's frustrating. I haven't felt that in a long time. Frustrating. Just gonna try and finish out. We can still PB. I'm pretty sure. That third one over there. That's the time. Sucks. We were practicing that before I started the run. Hey, cat, thank you. Let me see what I can still do. That was. That sucks. That was such a good run, too. I guess something had to happen, but... Oh. So yeah, that was looking to be sub-101. I'm, I'm really sad it happened where I practiced, though. That's the main thing that's getting me. Because I specifically was practicing under port. And we got to the point where I was saving 11 seconds over my gold there. Instead, I lost like 40 seconds to my goal of this run. Or like to that time, anyway. Like, we're ahead of City after, after Crew. That's insane, actually, considering I have a 102. I'm still excited. Like, I'm still happy with the run. Like, it was a really good run. It's just that underport really hurts. Like, finishing this puts me in a situation of my only time save is underport. On the sport. I don't really like 
bounce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I prefer running against my PB. It's just... It's just a real thing. <laughs> she won't be up for like... That's a lot of time off. GG. I got the hover. But that sucks. That's like the worst way to fail that. time.
still got a 101, but that was, oh my god, that ending. <sighs> what an awful end game. <laughs> I didn't expect a PB that quickly after the 102. I'm happy with the PB. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but that end game sucked. <laughs> あ、ちょっと、ここで暮らすことにして、ちっちゃなジャックに大分コースターを使わせてやろう。あ、ちょっと待って。お主、あ、つまり、わし。あの、ちょっと。あ、そうか。そうなることは特に決まっておったんだな